Hello, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, Nine, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news from China today. Unaware of the obvious irony, leaders at yesterday's start of China's third plenum have promised to allow the markets to play a decisive role in the world's second largest economy. And then they appointed a top-level committee centralising the powers to achieve their goals. They've set 2020 as the deadline for getting results from these changes, and a specific public date is an unusual benchmark by Chinese authorities. More worrying, however, they are also appointed another high-level committee to oversee the tightening of social controls, especially of the media and communications, in a bid to constrain the coming unrest as the various reforms are pushed through. Stress points will not only be within China, but, but Hong Kong and Taiwan are starting to feel the strains as well. European Union negotiators in Brussels have clinched a deal on the 2014 EU budget after gruelling talks, and they have cut spending by about 6% compared with 2013. Still about two-thirds of the €135 billion budget will go on subsidies for farmers and on developing projects in the EU's poorer regions. But the spending on such projects is being cut by about €7 billion. In a surprise move overnight, Indonesia's central bank raised its benchmark rate to its highest in four years in a bid to shield the economy from the expected turbulence when the US Fed begins to wind back its easy money policies. At nine o'clock this morning, our central bank will make its financial stability report public. Bernard Hickey will be there covering this and Governor Wheeler's testimony at Parliament this afternoon. New Zealand dollar starts today at 82.1 US cents, a new two-month low, 88.3 Aussie cents, and the TWI is at 76.9. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.